Now let's analyze the routing table. A routing table is a file that is stored in RAM and that file contains information about three types. The first one is directly connected routes or it contains information about remote routes and also the next hope associations or network. So the routing that table of an R1 router, as you can see from the diagram, this R1 router has three interfaces and all the three interfaces are connected to a directly connected network. But for R1, the interface is directly connected, but in order to reach to a particular router or a switch which has an IP address 10.1.1.0 slash 24 on the right side of the diagram. So for that, R1, this network is a remote network. So serial connection is directly connected network and those interfaces which are directly connected to the router, they are also directly connected network. And if a router is connected to another router and in order to reach to that particular network, so then that network becomes a remote uh, network uh, for, for a router in a routing table. If you want to um, look into the routing table entries, there is a command for it. The show IP route command that displays the contents in a routing table. And that show IP route command displays either a local route interfaces which is basically added to the routing table when an interface is configured and active and this is only uh, displayed in iOS version 15 and higher and this another type can be a directly connected interfaces which is added when to the routing table when an interface is configured and active similarly we have static routes and these routes are added when a route is manually configured to the interface and the exit interface is also active. And then we have dynamic routing protocols and they are basically added when a routing protocol is used to basically populate the routing table. And that can be EIGRP or OSPF and they basically populate the routing table. So now let's look into the routing table for R1. As you can see from the diagram, the show IP route command is executed and there are codes for different types of uh, connections. L is for local connection, C is for connected, it's, it's basically status code. And if there is an S, that means the route is a static route. R means the protocol that is used, the routing protocol is RIP. Similarly, D means the protocol that is used is EIGRP. And there are other codes uh, to basically uh, find out the type of routing protocol and other parameters. So for remote network routing entries, this is a particular routing table entry. And the D in the first part that basically identifies how the network was learned by the router. And as we have seen from, in, from the previous slide, this D stands for the, the route is learned using EIGRP protocol. Similarly, the other color, which is the legend, is identifies the destination network, which is 10.1.1.0/24. Then the administrative distance, which is basically identifies the trustworthiness of the route source. Lower value of administrative distance means that this uh, route source is preferred. And then we basically have a metric uh, to reach to the remote network. And then the next hop IP address to reach to the remote network. And then uh, the amount of elapsed time since the network was discovered. And the outgoing interface on the router to reach to the destination network. So we looked into the routing table entries. And a routing table performs entries that can be uh, entry for a local uh, directly connected network or it can be an entry for a remote network.